God. What a fucking day. Anyway, guys, it is now dusk. The sun has set, darkness coming on in the Point Lonesome Swamp on this spectacularly gorgeous. It is Sunday, March 22nd, 2022, and uh, as you're probably aware by now, I uh, sold those buildings. Those buildings went out on a on a uh, trailer today. Uh, the first half went out on uh, Saturday. We had the fireworks. You know, this, this fucking clue, this clue is fucking moron. He's blowing off fireworks and it's not even dark yet. He hasn't realized that it's daylight savings time. So he thinks it's dark because he hasn't changed his clocks. So he's out there blowing off fireworks in the daylight. But anyway, uh, I just had to get this off my chest about what the hell I've endured. I, I endured it Saturday, but I really had to endure it today. This, this guy who bought the uh, buildings, who ended up buying the buildings, I honestly believe, guys, he was the single, the single most full of himself, pompous ass I have ever met since the day I was born. I mean, the guy, I, I mean, he was in a league of his own. He was like, you know, I, 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 if Woody Allen or or uh, Saturday Night Live or whoever it is now w was trying to create this cartoon character of, of an unbelievably, uh, I mean, full of himself, pompous, narcissistic, holier than thou, self-absorbed, just, just blithering, blathering windbag. You know, I'm, I'm thinking, and you know, I, I have been doing this performance art for what twelve or thirteen years, where I try to, you know, I, I try to put myself in the, in the, in the, in the brain of this guy. You know, okay, what does you know, basically a, a self-absorbed, narcissistic, uh, full of himself, blathering fool sound like. And obviously I use, you know who is, obviously I use Guy McPherson as my, uh, as my role model. But this fucker that I, we'll call him Billy Bob, that I that I had to suffer with today, uh, he he was so unbelievably full of shit, full of himself, that you know to to try to you know to try to is impersonate him the right word to try to put myself in his inside his head to you know create that character he would be unbelievable it would be taking ironic satire of a buffoon so far, you know, good satire and, and ironic satire, you know, what makes good ironics is pushing the envelope. But if, but if I try to portray a character of, of someone this fucking full of himself, it wouldn't work as satire. It would be, it, it, it would be it would be pushing the envelope too far. I, I mean, the, 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 this motherfucker, uh, he was he was holier than thou. He was condescending, critical. He was up here with his girlfriend uh, on Saturday, uh, and, and you can only imagine the way he treats it. His girlfriend is a successful surgeon. All right. The guy was unbelievably manipulative. I mean, just openly 
emotionally abusive to this woman, you know, in front of total strangers, just be little, a fucking surgeon. This woman had more class in her little finger than, than, than this motherfucker had in his entire body. I mean, how could a successful surgeon fall for this? I'm watching this this uh, series on Netflix. I've gotten sucked into this thing called Bad Vegan, which I'll probably be talking about when I finish it tonight. Uh, this, the, the same thing about, you, you know, how an attractive, intelligent woman, uh, you know, an obviously attractive, intelligent, highly educated, whatever, woman can fall for these motherfuckers, for, for these lowlife, just, 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 just fucking slimeball lowlifes and put up with this shit. You know, I wanted to walk up to her and fucking slap her. And, you know, wake her the fuck up and going, bitch, what the fuck are, are you putting up with this shit uh, for? And uh, then, of course, he does the same with his, you know, with his help, uh, with, with the guy uh, who is here, you know, helping him tear down the, I mean, just absolutely. I, I mean, just treating the guy like an absolute fucking piece of shit. Uh, it, it, it was, I, I, I mean, just to, to sit there and listen, and he would try to engage me in this. Well, you know, the motherfucker was paying me thousands of dollars. Uh, and, and I'm thinking, so my challenge dealing with, you know, d d running up against a fucking airbag like this, uh, this motherfucker, he was the most detestable human being. I, I mean, he, in some ways he was worse than Lulu. I mean, in a different level. I mean, Lulu, she, she, was, she was a different breed of full of herself, but this guy... So he would try to uh, try to bait me and, and get me into intellectual uh, debates with him, and uh, you know he, he he was really pushing my buttons, uh, you know, egging me on, daring me, daring me to uh, get into an intellectual debate about whatever, you know, some philosophical concept, uh, you know, and, and for me to sit there uh, and keeping my mouth shut and listening to this, the, the guy, you know, uh, just the, the fact that people like this exist on the planet. He, he did, you know, he was fishing around for how he could punch, push my buttons. And uh, so he said, Sam, he, he goes, what is your opinion of people? <laughs> and I said, my opinion of people. I said, people are fine. It's humans that I'm not crazy about. And he looks at me, he, he comes from a family of 10, all right? He, he's from a family of 10. And, uh, and, and so he goes, he goes, oh, really? And he goes, so what is your main problem with humans? I said, there's too fucking many of them on the planet. That was my problem with humans. And so he started into that debate, you know, explaining to me, that uh, there were not too many humans on the planet, that all you have to do is go up in an airplane, dude, look out the fucking, go from, get on a fucking airplane, go from here to California, and look out the window, and you will know that there are not too many people on the planet. And uh, it was at that point that I just turned around and walked away from the guy. Uh, I, 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 I mean, just... He, he, he made Donald Trump, now, I will give him some credit, he's not a fan of Donald Trump, 
Uh, he does understand Donald Trump, but what he does not understand is compared to Donald Trump, this motherfucker to Donald Trump, I mean, he leaves Donald Trump in the dust. Okay, Donald Trump is a piker compared to this fatuous windbag. Uh, and, and, and for me to sit there, I, I mean, to be in this, to be in this man's presence, I mean, it was truly awe-inspiring on one level that this motherfucker could walk the planet and, and, uh, and, 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 and have an attractive, intelligent girlfriend. And uh, the dude who was helping him was a fucking real estate agent, was a fucking realtor. I mean, just, just, just pure verbal abuse, and uh, just, just the fact that anybody on the planet, uh, would, you know, meeting this guy, would, would ever associate with him. He was, I mean, just truly a despicable human being, a truly despicable human being. And uh, somehow I have to give myself high marks for, uh, I managed to keep my mouth shut. Uh, I just fed his ego. You know, all, all you can do when, uh, when, the li when life puts one of these people, as long as it's going to be very short term, uh, he is a special brand of what's called petty tyrant. I knew he was doing something that I needed him to do, which was get these fucking buildings out of here. So he paid me thousands of dollars for the building, which I was going to take down for him. Not only did he pay me for the buildings, he came and did all the work to take them down. Well, not all the work, but, but you know, half the work, taking the buildings down. So he, he was playing directly into my hands. I, I was playing the motherfucker like a fish. Playing the stupid motherfucker like a fish. And, uh, just, and, and so, of course, all you can do with people like this uh, in a situation like I was in is feed their ego, and uh, which isn't hard to do. Uh, all you got to do is, you know, every once in a while break in when they're talking about how, how intelligent they are, how, uh, how world-seasoned they are, how physically strong, you know, as they're going on and on and on, uh, hour after hour, uh, telling you uh, how they are so superior to everyone else, uh, and of course they play the victim card that nobody else understands, that everybody else is a clueless fucking moron, and nobody understands when they're in the... Now, I a little bit can agree with that. I mean, I, I have to admit, uh, when, he would, when he was playing that particular card, about how people dumber than him, weaker than him, whatever, uh, did not understand when they were in the presence of greatness. I do understand that. I, I mean, I could sympathize with him on that. Uh, that it, 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 you, you know, it is hard to be humble when you know you're the smartest fucking person on the planet. But, you know, he and I have learned to deal with it. So I, I you know, I give him, uh, okay, all right, I'm going to give him that one, come to think of it. I know how he feels uh, to be the smartest person on the planet. Uh, and how could he be the smartest person on the planet? Well, maybe he's the second smartest person on the planet. But do you know what I'm saying? What you do is just uh, as they're doing this, hour after hour extolling all of their virtues, you just say, yeah, brother, you're the man. You're the man. 
That's the secret. You're the man. They love to hear that. That they're the man. They're the man. You're the man. You're the man. You are the man. You are the man giving me thousands of dollars more than I paid for this shit. You are the man doing all of this fucking labor that I was going to do for you that I don't have to do because, you're, because you came and did it for me, you clueless fucking moron. You're the man! You're a fucking stupid little fish. I was playing you like a fucking fish. Anyway, guys, I just had to get this off of my chest and... uh starting to get dark, so I'm going to go enjoy a fireworks show while I still can. Because I'm the man. I'm the man. I am the man. And don't you forget that I am the man. I am the man. And this man is going to go pour him a drink and go watch some fireworks. Get out there and be the man while you still can. Bye, guys.